All right, what's up guys? I'm going to do my best to try to show you how to fix your fuel pump sending unit, basket, whatever you want to call it, because it seems like this happens to a lot of people. So this is your fuel line that goes from the fuel pump to the engine, and this seems to happen to everybody. Kind of just breaks off flush, leaves you screwed. To buy one of these new, it's like 800 bucks. People are making them, they're like 400 bucks. You can find used ones for 300 bucks that aren't much better shape than this. And there's really no videos that I could find on how to fix this. So I'm gonna try to make a real short and to the point video. For those of you that wanna fix yours, you can just watch this, learn how to do it. It's really easy. And I'm pretty sure I can do it for under 50 bucks. All right, let's get this out. You gotta take these bolts out around here, unplug it, and then get your line off. All right, I'm gonna take this outside, get all this fuel off of this, so I can work on it on the bench. All right, this is pretty much all you're gonna need. Obviously, you're gonna need your sending unit. You're gonna need this 90 degree, and then you're gonna need two of these. I'll put the links or whatever down there somewhere. So what you're gonna pretty much do, you see where it broke off right there? You're gonna drill that out. You're gonna put this in there like this. And then this is gonna go to the bottom of this, like this. You're gonna need some line. I got some fuel line here to go to your fuel pump, which I'm doing a new fuel pump. So you'll also see how to put a new one in. And then you'll need a, one of these to go from here to the line on the car. Really simple. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder than it actually is. You gotta get this fuel pump out of here. You gotta disconnect these lines. So it looks like they're gonna be eights. And then you gotta screw down here. There must be Loctite or something on this from the factory. I cannot get this out. I'm replacing my fuel pump. But if you're gonna reuse your fuel pump, I wouldn't do this. I'm gonna put the fuel pump in the vise. So your power, your hot side, your positive, is a seven mil. Now just put these right back on there because you might need them for your new fuel pump. I don't know yet. Now get your ground off. Then you're gonna take this piece of rubber off the bottom. You also took that bracket off once you got that screw out and this should slide right out of this. And then in my case, you can just toss this out because I'm replacing this, this is junk. So you got a couple O-rings in here. You really shouldn't need these again, but at least set them over to the side because you're gonna eliminate this. So you're gonna cut this off as flush as you can get it, right? Cut it off down in there. And then you're gonna do the same thing up here. And then I'll probably start with a drill bit just to get the pipe all gone. And then you're gonna wanna use a step bit to go down to the size of this. You don't wanna go much bigger than this because yeah, you got that nut, but you still don't want this thing to be in there sloppy. So whatever size of this is, you're just gonna wanna go to here, here's a good way to figure it out. You see this nut? Take this nut off of this. And then you can take it down on the step bit. You probably wanna to go to like 9 16 or no bigger than 5 8 that's for sure. You can use anything you got. You can use a sawzall, a jigsaw, a hacksaw, a dremel. That's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna to try to get a dremel in there with a metal blade so I can get that real tight. All right, so I actually think I'm gonna cut down here first to get this hump out of my way because it's not letting me get that flat. So let's just move this out of my way. All right, now that I got this out of my way, I can get down in there, get it up there real tight, and it'll let me cut all the way down. All right, there you go. Now, you just gotta drill this all out. All right, so I'm gonna drill this out. I'm gonna start just going as big as the as the line. Like my bit is uh, my bit's just as big as this, just to get this out of the way, and then I'll go to the step bit. All right, I am gonna use a little bit of WD, you know, just every step that I go. Look at that, nine sixteenths, where it's at. Cause you can see there's some little shavings on there still. I'm gonna clean this up real nice with a file. All right, so any of my normal subscribers, you guys know I'm a freak. I'm not gonna be able to leave this like this. I'm gonna clean this all up real nice as much as I can get it. So I'm just gonna start out with, you know, 220 sandpaper. 
Keep working my way down. I actually might take these. I'm not gonna take these all off. I might start with a wire wheel, honestly. I'll let you know what I do. I'll bring you back in a second. So look, this is the best I can get this, right? I just, I, I'm gonna have to live with it. I cannot get these plugs out. I actually don't think they come out. I think they're like a one-time use thing. Cause I started to take one out and it's, I'm pretty sure it's gonna break. All right, that's the best I could do. It's probably the worst tape job I've ever done. Oh, I just missed a spot I gotta get underneath there. This was a real big pain, honestly, trying to get under all those wires and everything. I'm gonna paint it. I'll bring it back once it's dry and I start putting it back together. There you go. It's probably the worst finish I've ever done in my life, but it's painted. Hopefully it'll keep it from rusting anymore. All right, let's put this thing together. All right, you're gonna get your 90, take your nut off. You're gonna wanna put one of these rubber washers over it so it's on the top. And then this is gonna go in the hole that you just drilled. Now you're gonna grab one of your fittings and put it on the bottom. Now these are flared like brake lines, so you don't need to use any Teflon tape or any silicone in there. I think the fuel might eat it up anyways, so I wouldn't use anything on these threads. Now you're gonna get your fuel pump and put that back on and figure out how long of a line you're gonna need. Now my fuel pump came with all new stuff, so I'm gonna try, but I don't know if I can reuse this bottom piece. I might just have to zip tie this. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use this bottom piece again. All right, I am gonna put a worm clamp on there. This uh, stainless steel one, so it doesn't rust. Just to help hold it in place. I actually don't think it would move anywhere with that hose pushing it down to that, but I'm still gonna do it. All right, I keep going back and forth on leaving and putting that bracket back on the bottom I don't think I'm going to because that kind of smushes the filter like flat I got this and the screw in a baggie if for some reason this like just sucks off the bottom and it runs out of fuel I'll take it out and I'll put that bracket on but I think I'm gonna be fine without it leave it down in the comments what you think and now that this is all together the last thing you really need to do to fix this let's put this on there you got another one of these Oh yeah, I still gotta hook up these lines. This is your power right here, and then obviously your ground's right here. It's gonna take this off, run the ground to it, and then I'll run the power to this. You can go back farther. I guess I'd have to go under the car to show you. But I got this to screw in where the rubber screws in, and then you can run a new line to there. That's what I'm gonna do. Put this on the hard line in the car, and then run another high pressure fuel line to there to there. All right, I just broke that loose. It's right here. It's a 19 and a 14. Here's that old piece of shit. I'm gonna put a little dab of red RTV in there. Cause it's not, it's a little flared. It'd probably be fine. I'm just gonna put a little drop in there. I'm not gonna be able to have this on my head and do this. I'm just gonna screw that on to there. Please use a new gasket. Here's your line. There you go. Then put your nuts back on. Then you're gonna come here, see how long you need, give you a little tiny bit extra, cut your line, put it on there, and put a hose clamp on there. I am gonna try to make this as short as possible. I got frustrated trying to find a video on how to do this, and every single one was like 40 minutes of just talking there's a cheap way how to fix your fuel pump sending unit so there you go like i said i'm trying to make this video short just plug everything back in you know plug your vent back in and um your wiring harness oh yeah i still gotta fix my ground i forgot all about that so i'm gonna have to take this back out at least you don't have to spend 800 bucks when you break yours when your fuel pump goes bad that's what I thought I was going to have to do. I was just going to get a whole new fuel cell. But once I figured out you could just do this, it makes a lot of sense just to do this anyways. I will uh, see you guys in the next video. My uh, subscribers, this uh, video is actually probably um, after the video you'll see next week. So i just been doing little odds and ends on the engine. Turbos still aren't back yet. So... Decided to throw this fuel pump video out today 
and um, I will see you guys in the next one.